Hello and welcome. Today we will start our uh, new story. It's called for the sixth primary. It's called the man in the iron mask. The man in the iron mask. Okay, we will start now with the introduction and then uh, chapter one. So our story's name for the first term is the man in the iron mask. The man in the iron mask. It's uh, written by Alexander Damas. Alexander Damas, the author. The author means the writer, the one who wrote this story. It's called Alexander Damas. We will start with our characters. Here we have uh, King Louis, King Louis and his twin brother, King Louis and his twin brother, uh, D'Artagnan, D'Artagnan, Aramis, Athos, Porthos, Fouquet, Fouquet, Louis de la Valère, Louis de la Valère, Countess de la Valère, Louise's mother, Louise de la Valère and her mother, Colbert, Colbert, uh, Anna of Austria, Anna of Austria, the plot or the main idea of our story is about Paris. Paris is starving. Starving means that people, its people, um, were very hungry. Uh, they can die of hunger. So Paris is starving means uh, its people were very hungry. But King Louis, King Louis uh, the Fourteenth, is more interested in his pleasures. He cares only about his army. He doesn't care about his people or their sufferings. He doesn't have a problem even to shoot his people. D'Artagnan is the captain uh, of the king's guards. has to choose between keeping his promise and protecting the headstrong and selfish king, Louis the Fourteenth, or doing what was right for France to save its people. So our story started in France. It's a country in Europe, especially in its capital, which is Paris. Paris is in a very bad situation in our story's time. Uh, uh, it's ruled by King called Louis the Fourteenth. Louis the Fourteenth. He uh, is a careless king. He uh, only uh, thinks of his pleasures. He doesn't care about his people. All what he cares about only is his pleasures and his army. He doesn't have a problem even to shoot his people or to kill his people. Okay? And D'Artagnan, his captain, his, uh, uh, the captain of the king's guard, has to make a very important decision uh, uh, to protect the king or to protect his people. We will see uh, through our events. The setting means the places that we will find in our story. First, we will find France. As I told you before, it's a country in Europe. Is a country in Europe and uh, the setting of our story or the place, the main place of our story. Paris or France here is ruled by King Louis the Fourteenth. Then we have uh, Paris. Uh, it's the capital of France. Uh, then we have the Palace of Versailles. The Palace of Versailles. Palace means like castle, a big building for the king and uh, his uh, family the royal family okay the palace of versailles it's the second place that we will see at our story then we will see the prison uh, on the island of saint margaret the prison on the island of saint margaret 
prison means a place where we can keep criminals or uh, the people who made uh, faults in the society so a punishment uh, place for the criminals the prison on the island of Saint Margaret all these are the places that we will see in our story the Bastille the Bastille is a state prison also on the east side of Paris the Bastille is also a prison on the east side of Paris then we have the throne of France the throne of France uh, who uh, was sitting on it the king uh, in our story King Louis is on the throne of France on the throne of France so we uh, talked about the characters the plot and the setting now we will go to chapter one uh, its title is hunger in paris hunger in paris hunger means when people uh, are very hungry they cannot find food to eat it's chapter one the characters that we will meet at chapter one the first one is king louis the 14th louis the 14th Okay, it's the old English or Latin number, okay, but it means the 14th, King Louis the 14th. He is a, a childish person, thinking only of his own pleasures. He doesn't care about his people. He quote them as lazy dogs. He cares only about his army and about a bigger, about to make uh, uh, his uh, kingdom bigger and bigger, or about a bigger and bigger kingdom for himself. So he, he thought only of himself, okay? So our first character here is King Louis the 14th. King Louis the 14th. He is uh, 29 years old. Uh, he is a, a childish person, uh, a careless person, a strong-headed person. He is not a good character at all. Then we have uh, D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. It's a French name. We have to say it like that. D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Uh, people admire him for his loyalty, bravery, cleverness. Um, so he is brave, uh, loyal. Loyal means he can um, protect the king and uh, be a trusted person. Uh, and people also admire him for his skills at horse riding. He can uh, make a good horse riding. Uh, out, uh, he is one of the four musketeers, uh, four well-known musketeers. We will know what is the meaning of musketeers. Um, D'Artagnan is the only one who remained in the king's service. He became the captain of the king's guards. Uh, it's, an, uh, it's a very important position uh, at that times. So we took King Louis the Fourteenth and his captain D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Then we will go to the four musketeers. What we, do we mean by four musketeers? They are um, most uh, well-known musketeers. They can use the musket to fight. They uh, are soldiers, well-trained soldiers. Their names in our story is uh, Athos, Aramis, Porthos, and D'Artagnan, as I told you before. So D'Artagnan, who became the king's, uh, the captain of the king's guard, uh, now uh, is a captain, the captain of the king's guard, was one of the musketeers, the most uh, famous soldiers who uh, were trained to use the musket. A musket means uh, a kind of guns or weapon. Okay, so we studied till now King Louis the 14th, D'Artagnan, and then the four musketeers, Athos, Aramis, Porthos, and D'Artagnan. The four musketeers were trained to use a musket. As I told you before, musket means a, a kind of weapon, a kind of weapon. It's a small gun, but their favorite weapon was always the sword. Why uh, do they prefer the sword? Because they could fight bravely by using it. So we have got four well-known or very famous musketeers. 
What do we mean by musketeers? Uh, soldiers trained to use a musket. A musket means a kind of gun. Okay. Uh, they uh, well, they are well known, and their names were Aramis, Athos, Porthos, and D'Artagnan. Okay. Their favorite weapon was always the sword. Why do they prefer the sword? Because they can fight bravely by using it. Okay. Uh, in the old days, when they were young, people said that a whole army couldn't beat them because they were very uh, uh, strong and they can fight bravely. So they can beat a whole army. Then we have uh, Anna of Austria. Anna of Austria. She is the queen uh, mother of King Louis, uh, who is in her 50s. Um, she uh, is still beautiful. She didn't like her son's ways as uh, a king. Um, she thought that she is a childish, careless. She believed a king should be an example to his people, suffering for them. And Louis neither uh, set a goal, a good example, nor suffered for his people. He doesn't make effort uh, for his people. He only thinks of his pleasures as we said before then we have Fouquet 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 is a dishonest man or a dishonest person he is the king's man minister of finance finance means related to the money he is responsible for the money of the king his job was to, to decide how to spend the king's taxes taxes means money money of the king he was known as a dishonest person or a dishonest man as he was using the king's money not for France or for the king himself but for himself to build himself a palace as I told you before palace means a big building like a castle so Fouquet is the king's minister of finance uh, his job was to decide how to spend the king's taxes but he is a dishonest person. He uses the king's money to build himself a palace. Then we have Louise de la Valère. Louise de la Valère. As you can see, the name of King Louis is similar to the name of this uh, uh, lady. But the difference between them is the E. King Louis doesn't have, uh, the word Louis doesn't have E. But Louise has E. The word Louise has E. So how can we differentiate between Louis and Louise by E? If you find the word with E, L-O-U-I-E-S-E -E at the end, it means Louise, the lady. But if we have the word L-O-U-I-S without E, we mean by this King Louis. So the difference between Louise and Louis is the E. Is the E. Louis... King Louis doesn't have E, but Louise has E at the end. Who is Louise de la Valeur? Louise de la Valeur. Louise de la Valeur. As you see, they are French names. Okay? Uh, she is a sweet girl. Uh, she is nearly 24 years old. Uh, she had only been at court for a few weeks. She became the king's new favorite. The king loved her, but she didn't love him. Uh, she played an important uh, role in our events, as we can see uh, in the coming chapters. Then we have Colbert. 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 Colbert, he was Fouquet's chief advisor or his assistant. Who is Fouquet? Fouquet is the minister uh, of uh, finance for the king. The minister of finance related to the money. He is, a, he is a dishonest person. As we said before, Colbert is his chief advisor or, advisor, or his assistant. He was an honest man, uh, not like uh, Fouquet, uh, whom Fouquet was afraid of. Fouquet afraid of Colbert. Why? Because Colbert knew that Fouquet was stealing the king's taxes. He knew the secret that the king, that Fouquet was stealing the king's taxes. Uh, so they hated each other. Who are they? Fouquet and Colbert. Fouquet 
is uh, the minister of the king uh, of finance related to the money. He uses the king's money to build himself a palace. Colbert is his assistant, but Colbert is an honest man. So Fouquet and Colbert hated each other. Okay, despite his honesty, as uh, for Colbert, uh, was as good as the others at making secret plans. He likes to make secret uh, plans in the palace, as we will see in our events. So, let's repeat again the characters as we set them in order. First of all, we have King Louis, King Louis the 14th. King Louis the 14th. Then we have D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan, he's uh, the captain of the king's guards. Then we have the four musketeers, Porthos, D'Artagnan, Aramis, and Athos. They are uh, the well-known musketeers. They are uh, brave soldiers who trained to use a musket. What is the musket? Kind of guns. But their favorite weapon is the sword. Uh, because they can fight it, fight with it uh, bravely. Then we have Anna of Austria. Anna of Austria is the king's uh, mother. The king's mother. Uh, Fouquet. Fouquet is the king's minister of finance. The king's minister of finance. Uh, then we have Louise de la Valer. Louise de la Valer. She is the king's favorite. She is a, let, uh, a young lady. Uh, and finally, we have Colbert. Colbert is the assistant of Fouquet, uh, the uh, minister of finance. Okay. Then we have the new vocabulary. The new vocabulary, the new words that we uh, will find in our chapters. Musketeer. Musketeer is a soldier in the post uh, who used a musket in fighting. Musketeer is a soldier in the past who was trained to use a musket. A musket is a kind of gun. A kind of gun. This is a musket. So this is a musketeer or they are musketeers. And this is a musket. Uh, uh, who are the musketeers in our story? They are very famous. Athos, Porthos, Aramis and D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Then we have the word beat. Beat means defeat, defeat uh, somebody or team. Uh, on the throne, on the throne, uh, somebody who rules a country. On the throne means somebody who rules a country. In our story, Louis the Fourteenth is uh, on the throne of France. On the throne of France. Uh, the word court, court means the palace where uh, the king and the queen live and work so court means palace courtier 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 means a person who is at a royal court uh, with an important position courtier the person who works for the king at the court they called him courtier courtier okay uh, then we have the word suffer Suffer means to experience a very bad situation. As we said before, the people of France were suffering. We were facing a, a very bad experience or we were, uh, they were at a very bad situation. A pavilion. Uh, pavilion uh, means large building with big open areas used uh, for sports. Okay? Then we have uh, the incidents. The incidents means uh, what happened in our chapter. What happened in our chapter. Our story begins in the early summer of uh, 1667. Okay, this is the time of our story. Louis the 14th, as I told you before, the word Louis without E is called the king or it meant the king. Louis the 14th was the king of France. His wife uh, is Marie Terrace. Marie Terrace uh, was the queen. And his mother, this is Marie Terrace, the king's wife. And his mother, Anna of Austria. Anna of Austria uh, also lived with him at the court. They all lived at the court. 
France was at war with Spain over uh, Spanish Netherlands. Okay, um, war is a hungry master. How all the money of the country were sent to make cannons. Cannons means a very big weapon. Uh, for uh, all the money also was sent to the army. So uh, the people were suffering because they don't have money. All the fresh food uh, uh, was also sent to the army. So people were suffering because uh, the war is uh, a hungry uh, master. Um, it needs money to make cannons and guns and to buy food for its armies. So all the money and the food should have been used to feed the poor of France uh, was going to the war. Okay? It needs money to make cannons, as we said before, and the guns to buy food for its armies. So all the money and food that should have been used to feed the poor people of France was going to to the war. The situation in France was so bad how people were dying of hunger, they were suffering, children were very weak and they were waiting to die. Those who still had strings were breaking into shops, were stealing the shops and stealing that them, whatever they could because they were very hungry, they cannot find any food to eat. What was the job of the soldiers or of the musketeers, the ordinary musketeers? How did uh, they feel about it? Their job was to keep or protect the shopkeepers. The, the job of the soldiers were to keep the shopkeeper or protect them from the hungry people. They felt so bad of that, to, or they found it more difficult as the people became hungrier and hungrier, the soldiers found it difficult to protect the shopkeeper and uh, arrest the people who were stealing the food from the uh, store or from the shops. So where was the king at this time? Where was the king, King Louis then? He was at his palace. At his palace, as we said before, the palace at Versailles. What did he and his men do to stop his people suffering? They did nothing. They, does, they don't, didn't care about the people suffering. All what they cared about was uh, uh, the army to make uh, France uh, a bigger kingdom. They, does, they didn't care about the people suffering. What did he and his men doing? As I said before, they uh, did nothing. The king was at his palace at Versailles. He thought only of his pleasures. What was he doing there? He was playing games with his men. He doesn't care about his people. He was eating uh, He was eating exotic or strange food. food. He doesn't care about his people at all. Was the king a good gamer? No. The king was a very bad gamer. He, he didn't know to play well. What, the courtiers, what was the courtier's job? Their job was to make the king happy, so they convinced him that he was a good gamer. The king uh, can't play uh, well, but the courtiers uh, convinced him that he uh, was a good gamer. King Louis noticed a young girl or a young lady called Louise de la Valère. As we said before, the E means Louise. Okay, uh, she had been at court. For a few weeks, uh, uh, the king noticed her, uh, he went to her, he gave her a ball to play with him because uh, he thought that no one can beat him at the game which called the balls. Okay, he played uh, balls with his men and uh, he thought uh, that his courtiers persuaded him or convinced him that he was good at playing ball. Um, so he wanted to find one to beat him. Uh, he noticed Louise de la Valère. He went to her. He gave her a ball. How did Queen Marie Terrasse feel then? She was trying to hide her anger. She was very angry. 
uh, what was uh, Louise's luck at the first pool when she played poor? Uh, she uh, won, won the king, she played well. It was uh, beginner's luck. Okay, she told the king that it was the beginner's luck. Then uh, uh, D'Artagnan asked uh, the king to talk with him. He wanted to talk with him about the bad situation in Paris, about the hungry people. Okay, but the king, uh, what did the king uh, uh, answer or what was the king's answer? He said to him, talk, talk, I don't want to talk about these hungry people in Paris. So D'Artagnan asked the king to talk with him. Uh, what did he want to talk with the king about? About the bad situation and the hungry people of Paris. Uh, what was the king's answer? The king uh, said that he didn't want to talk about Paris or its hungry people. He called them hungry dogs or uh, uh, lazy dogs. What did the king say about his people? He called his people lazy dogs. He said to D'Artagnan, uh, didn't they know that we are at war? And all the money must be sent, uh, sent to the army. Uh, D'Artagnan said to him, people uh, were in a very bad situation. We have to do something for them. But the king didn't want even to listen to him. At that moment, Fouquet, as we said, Fouquet is uh, the minister of finance. Uh, the king's minister of finance uh, uh, came uh, with his uh, advisor or his assistant Colbert, uh, they came together. The king asked uh, Fouquet about his plan to face the serious situation in Paris. He said to him, what, what should we do, Fouquet? What uh, did Fouquet suggest? He suggest, uh, suggested three solutions or three things that they could do with the hungry people. First, or the first one, send less food to the army. This is the first solution from his point of view or uh, what he thought of. Uh, two, or the second solution, give the people of Paris food from the stores which was rotten. Rotten means uh, not fresh, this uh, spoiled food, not able to be eaten. It was uh, in the store, store since last year. It's not eatable. Uh, three or the third solution, the third solution, they could shoot the poor people. So Fouquet suggested three th solutions. One, to send less food to the army. Two, give the people of Paris food from the store which was rotten, uh, uneatable. Three, they could shoot the poor people or kill the poor people. What was the king's answer? The king chose to give <coughs> his people uh, the rotten, the rotten food. <coughs> the king then the king went. The king chose to give his people the rotten fruit food from the store. The rotten food from the store. So the king, the king chose to give his people the rotten food, the rotten food uh, from the stores. Then he went uh, to uh, the Babylon. Uh, what did he do then? He uh, ate and listened to music with uh, his favorite lady, which was Louise de la Valère. Uh, D'Artagnan felt so bad uh, because uh, he thought of the suffering of uh, the people of France and he wanted to do something for them. Uh, he found it difficult to think of the people suffering. Uh, when the music ended, King Louis left uh, the uh, Babylon uh, with uh, his favorite lady, uh, which was, as we said before, Louise de la Valère. Then uh, D'Artagnan went to his room. Uh, he was thinking uh, of himself. Uh, he spent all his life serving 
uh, King Louis the Thirteenth, and after him, King Louis the Fourteenth. He uh, didn't uh, manage uh, to make a family. He wanted to be a husband and a father. He wanted to retire as his friends did. Um, his friends, the famous musketeers, as we said before, Asses, Porthos, and Armis. Uh, what did his friends, uh, the three musketeers, do after they retired? After they retired, uh, Aramis uh, became a, a bishop in the church. He joined the church and became a bishop. Uh, Athos uh, went to live on his farm. Uh, Porthos tried to enjoy himself uh, in the country life, he wanted to be like them, uh, uh, start his new life without uh, working with the king. Uh, as D'Artagnan enter, entered his room, he found a message on his desk. Uh, this message was from his friend Armis, as we said before, who became a bishop at the church. Okay, what was the message for? Uh, Aramis uh, asked them, uh, uh, D'Artagnan, to meet him at their usual place for uh, an important thing, thing that they wanted to talk about. Uh, Aramis sent D'Artagnan a message to uh, call for a meeting in Paris for at their usual place. Okay. Uh, this uh, what was the message for as we said before uh, it's about a meeting for the four musketeers uh, Aces, Porthos uh, and uh, D'Artagnan uh, what would uh, D'Artagnan tell the king about his absence when he will go to Paris he would tell him that uh, he had uh, an important business uh, to, uh, to do at Paris so he will leave uh, the palace the next day and go to uh, Paris to meet his friends but he will tell the king that uh, he had uh, uh, urgent business or important business in Paris uh, well that's all about chapter one let's go to our book to highlight the most important parts at our chapter uh, at the first page page uh, Six, we will highlight together the most important parts. Uh, my name, uh, highlight with me. My name is uh, D'Artagnan. I was once a captain of the king's uh, guards. Okay, uh, for the present king, Louis the 14th and before that for uh, his father Louis the 13th uh, you may also highlight you may have heard of uh, my three friends Athos, Aramis and Porthos we are all musketeers which means we were trained to use a musket a kind of gun but our favorite sword, uh, weapon was always the sword to win a fight with a sword uh, you have to use your brain and at the same time move quickly and cleverly on your feet okay uh, then highlight um, my story begins in the clearly summer of 1667 Louis the Thirteenth was uh, on the throne of France with his wife, the Queen Marie Therese, Marie Therese, and at his side, his mother Anne, Anna of Austria. Also lived uh, with him at the court. Okay, and then we will highlight uh, together. This part, France was uh, at war with Spain over the Spanish Netherlands. Okay. Uh, here 
we can ask the question what was the situation uh, in uh, Paris like Paris was at or France was at war so uh, people were suffering uh, highlight also this part people were dying of hunger children were laying in the streets too weak to cry even to hold out their hand for a piece of bread or an apple they were just waiting to die those who still had strings were breaking into shops and stealing whatever they could it was the job of my musketeers to protect the shopkeepers but uh, many of my men felt bad about fighting the poor people they didn't like fighting the poor people then we will go to this part the king uh, was playing games the king was playing uh, games with some of the courtiers the people who works with him at the palace the palace at Versailles okay he was playing games with his people let's go to the second page at this page which is page 10 Um, let's highlight together this part after all the courtiers job is to make the kings the king happy um, Louis on the same page highlight with me Louis went up to a young lady shyly watching the game her name was Louis de la Valère. She had only uh, been at court for a few weeks. Also, highlight with me at the end of the page. Um, the king. Um, the king had noticed. The king had noticed her too and now he took Louis by the hand and led her to the pooling green. I could see the queen, Mary Terrace, trying to hide her anger. Who is talking now? D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan is the narrator of our story who is telling what happened. Uh, Louis handed Louise a ball. Uh, she looked at it uncomfortably and she did not find it easy being the king's new favorite at the second at page 11 at page 11 we will highlight um, Louise through uh, the ball courteously into the air and by pure luck, uh, it, hand, it landed closest to the wooden ball. That happened when Louise played the ball with the king. Uh, also, we will highlight at the end of the page this important comment. As you know, our questions are commentary questions you will have a quotation or a part from the story and you will say who said that to whom uh, what is the situation to say um, uh, the place and what happened to, uh, at this speech and also you may have any question related to this comment our important comment now your majesty uh, we must talk the situation in Paris is uh, too serious and also highlight with me 
the king's answer i don't want to hear about paris uh, don't the people of paris know we are fighting a war uh, frenchmen are dying to make uh, france great and those lazy dogs are complaining about not having uh, enough to eat okay let's go to the page after it This page, uh, which is page uh, 12, page 12, uh, we will highlight together. Fouquet, the king's minister of finance, whose job is to decide how to spend the king's uh, taxes. Uh, he was with Colbert, his chief advisor. Fouquet and Colbert hated each other, but they tried not to show it. Fouquet was afraid of Colbert's honesty uh, and the fact that Colbert knew that Fouquet was using a lot of king's money to build himself avarice. Uh, also, we have highlight with me there are three things we can do with the poor uh, this is uh, the suggestions of uh, Fouquet one send less food to our army in the Netherlands two give them food from the stores or three we can simply shoot them um, also highlight this important comment give it to the poor which is the rotten food anyway if they are really hungry they will eat it okay uh, we will highlight also this part i went i went to my room uh, that night who, who was talking here D'Artagnan the captain of the king's guards went to his room what happened then we will see he uh, found uh, a message on his uh, desk before finding the message he was thinking of retirement he wanted to retire like his friends uh, what was the message about? This is the text of the message. I have called a meeting who was talking now arms. It's the message from arms. Uh, I have called a meeting for the four musketeers uh, for tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at the usual place. Uh, we will see on the next chapter what is the usual place. And um, uh, it's very important to come for everyone arms is talking now and uh, then at the end um, god speed god speed means a wish of success okay it's the, at the end of that chapter uh, well that's all about chapter one uh, i want you to listen to the cd track one and highlight uh, the most important parts as we made um, the questions of uh, the booklet who is D'Artagnan as we said before he is the captain of the king's courts for the present king King Louis the 14th and before him for his father uh, Louis the uh, 13th uh, what do you think about King Louis uh, as we said King Louis is uh, a selfish person strong-headed uh, um, uh, doesn't care about his people he thinks only of uh, his uh, army and his pleasures you can give your opinion about king louis and we have got a comment your majesty we must talk the situation in paris is so serious who said that d'artagnan said that to whom to king louis the 13th uh, the 14th uh, what was the listener's answer it means that King Louis the Fourteenth. He didn't want to hear about Paris or its people. What does it show? It shows that King Louis was um, 
selfish uh, uh, wasn't a good king he is a careless uh, king and so on you will uh, mention your opinion of king louis again and the complete uh, it's uh, too easy it's from the book um, thank you uh, and goodbye